Pixar Animation Studios, commonly known as Pixar, is a computer animation studio owned by Disney. It began in 1979 as part of the Lucasfilm computer division known as the Graphics Group before Disney purchased it in 2006. Pixar has produced around 22 feature films, beginning with Toy Story in 1995, which was the first ever computer animated feature film. Its most recent film was Onward in 2020, Toy Story 3 in 2010, Finding Dory in 2016, Incredibles 2 in 2018, and Toy Story 4 in 2019 are all among the 50 highest grossing films of all time. The studio also has produced dozens of short films. So how Pixar as a studio was able to create all these amazing animation movies, but most importantly, what is the software behind the magic they are able to create? This video is brought to you by Sketchfab, a platform for buying and selling 3D models online. Their store has a lot of high quality models to choose from using a great model inspector. Links in the description. The principal piece of proprietary software used there is the animation software. It was called Memvi which stands for Modeling Environment from the mid-80s up till 2012 when the new rewrite was dubbed Presto was used in 2012 starting with the movie Brave. Memvi was referred to in the press as Marionette for many years, though that name was only used derisively inside the studio. But there is a possibility that Pixar artists still call Presto Memvi because this is the name they used for most of their career when working for Pixar. Unlike Renderman, there has never been a thought of releasing it to the public. That's due in part to wanting to stay ahead of the competition, but mostly because it's so cutting edge that the only way to provide customer support is to have the people who wrote it as support team. As a result, little is known outside of Pixar about the details of working of this software. Pixar claims that Presto is designed to be intuitive and familiar to animators who have traditional cell animation experience. Pixar chooses to use a proprietary system instead of the commercial products available and used by other companies due to another very important reason, which is the fact that they can edit the software code to meet their needs. One example of this editing is shown in the extra features of the Incredibles DVD, and it is explained that the previous versions of the Marionette aka MMV were not able to stretch the models in ways needed to correctly animate Elastic Girl, so the in-house Marionette development team created a new version that includes this feature. The interface of Presto looks kind of familiar to those who used popular 3D animation software such as Maya, 3ds Max or Blender, but of course it is unique as well because it was created to serve the needs of Pixar's animators in particular. One of the most impressive things about Presto is that it allows artists to work interactively in a scene in real time with full resolution geometric models that combined can reach tens of millions of polygons in addition to sophisticated grid controls and has significantly increased the productivity of character animators at Pixar. Presto was not a perfect software for Pixar in the early stages because it had some limitations including its inability to handle collaborative work, so Pixar decided to bring its functionality into the workflow. So they came up with the Universal Scene Description or what is known as USD. USD is a framework for the interchange of 3D computer graphics data. The framework focuses on collaboration, non-destructive editing, and enabling multiple views and opinions about graphics data. This collaborative interface allows many Pixar artists to work on the same scene or model, but on different layers, without stepping on each other's toes. This new tag sounds too good to be true, but they did it, and they made it free source and available for the public for free. This allowed Pixar teams to work on a scene together while working separately at the same time. This includes animation, shading, lighting, environment modeling, and so on. One animator can be working on a character and trying to make it fit perfectly with the scene and move it smoothly with the other characters, while the other artists are making sure that the textures, lighting and effects are making the characters and the environment look believable in a way that fits Pixar's story and style. And of course we can talk about Pixar without talking about Pixar's Renderman. It is a photorealistic 3D rendering software produced by the Pixar Animation Studios. Pixar uses RenderMan to render all their in-house 3D animated movie productions and it is also available as a commercial product licensed to third parties. This allowed big studios to use it on big budget films and it proved to be a fantastic render engine. According to one of the ex-employees of Pixar who worked there for decades, if animation software were cars, commercial 3D packages like Maya would be a BMW, highly capable, 
but expect it to be reliable in everyday traffic. However, Prestor is a race car. It needs a pit crew, a well-trained driver, and expect it to crash a lot, but nothing does what it does quite as well. Even though Pixar Animation Studio has shown and explained some of the features and tools of Presto that reveal how powerful it is, there is a big portion of what this software is capable of and known to most of the world. Who knows, maybe one day they will make it a commercial software. Until then, we can speculate but we can't say for sure whether it is better than the animation 3D packages we have today such as Maya. But from what we have seen over the years, I would say it probably is. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, you can leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.